This V2I real-time user guide will explain how to use the internal design tool that allows members of the project team to more closely understand design outcomes, freely explore all aspects of the site, benefit from a number of interactive design tools, and create any number of perspectives from within the V2I real-time platform. To switch directly to the design mode, simply press the Control, Shift, and D keys together. After a short loading sequence, you will be able to use a variety of design tools using your keyboard and mouse. These features are accessible via the menu bar at the top. By clicking on the Explore tab, you will be able to access three different exploration modes. Aerial view, ground view or walking mode, and a flying virtual drone. Design mode starts off in aerial mode by default. In this mode, you can use the slider on the right to zoom in or out of the site. Or alternatively, use the scroll wheel on the mouse. To rotate the camera angle, click and hold the left mouse button and drag the mouse across the screen. To move to another part of the site, simply right-click on the desired location and the desired point will move to the center of the screen. If you would like to set down to the ground, click on the ground view button in the explore menu and double-click anywhere to enter free walk mode. Once on the ground, use the W, A, S, D or arrow keys on the keyboard to walk and click and hold the mouse button to look around the scene. You are now able to freely walk anywhere on site. To launch a virtual drone, click the drone button in the menu bar. You can steer the drone in the same way as you would in free walk mode. In addition, you are able to adjust the altitude of the drone by pressing the spacebar to ascend and the control key to descend. These commands, as well as the altitude in meters, is displayed on the right-hand side of the screen. The drone can be utilized to fly anywhere on site and simulate views from various vantage points. To return to the ground, simply use the ground view feature once again. This application includes a number of measurement tools that can be accessed by the Measure tab in the menu bar. The Point-to-Point -point Measurement tool allows the user to accurately measure the distance between two points by simply adjusting the distance and locking the measurement into place by clicking the left mouse button. Measurements can be edited or deleted as desired. The height measurement tool facilitates the measurement of freestanding objects and can display any height entered into the value field. From a higher vantage point, such as an aerial view mode, the area measurement tool can be used to measure the area contained within any closed shape by simply tracing the outline of the area to be measured. The radius tool allows the user to place a center point anywhere on the site and drag out a circle with the desired radius with its distance in meters indicated above the center point. Any number of radii can be placed in the scene and each individual radius can be edited. Or deleted as desired. At any point in time, accessing the Capture tab in the menu bar enables the user to render out any chosen perspective by clicking the Snapshot button. The image can then be saved locally, emailed out directly, 
or deleted. The shortcuts in the top right corner of the screen can be used to quickly access the display townhomes, allowing the user to walk through and use design tools such as the snapshot tool, which are not available in the customer focused sales center mode. To exit the application, click the button in the top right corner of the screen.